Claire Cameron from PRP Architects. I'm a director in the Later Living team. We were delighted to have been selected to design the new extra care building and communal facilities here. My name is Pat Callaghan. I'm the cabinet member for Healthy and Caring in Camden. Charlie Ratchford Court is a whole council project built by the council through our community investment programme. We want to support people to live healthy, active, independent lives for longer and the building is designed for that. There are 38 apartments here, six two bed and the rest are one bed, all designed to enable older people to lead active, independent lives. We design these buildings so that there is just one front door and around that front door we incorporate most of the communal spaces so that becomes the lively kind of social heart to the scheme. And then beyond that, the residents will each have a fob to enable them to move into the private residential areas of the building. Traditionally, extra care was for older people, but Charlie Ratchford Court is truly intergenerational because anybody who has got support needs can be a resident here. My name's Amanda Jackson. I'm Head of Provider Services and Adult Social Care in Camden Council. There are large communal areas in Charlie Ratchford Court, which we want to develop as a real community asset. We also hope that the people who live at Charlie Ratchford Court will be able to meet up with local residents and enjoy the local area. Whilst the residents all have their own apartments, it's really important that there's a choice between enjoying the privacy of that apartment or joining in with the communal facilities in the building. From coming into the building, there's a generous entrance foyer and a clear view into the residents' lounge and the garden beyond. We glaze the screen so that the residents will be able to see who's in the building and, and hopefully encourage spontaneous interaction with the other residents. There are several spaces in the building that can be used by the wider community, such as the hairdresser and wellbeing suite, several activity rooms and a community cafe. So opportunities for intergenerational activity and opportunities for the residents to get together. There are gathering spaces on each floor of the building so that residents can get together outside the lifts and enjoy views from that space out into Crogsland Road and the, and the wider community. Another fantastic feature of being here is that residents are allowed to bring pets into the building. The apartments have been designed to be dual aspect so that instead of accessing the, the apartments from a corridor, you're accessing them from an open gallery. And that means that every resident has a real front door and the apartments can be dual aspect, which means they get light from both sides and in this case, both from the east and the west. It means that they have maximum natural light, maximum uh, natural ventilation and cross ventilation, avoiding overheating. The apartments have all been designed to be care ready with generous space standards. There's lots of storage and wider doors so that if residents need to use a wheelchair or a walking frame, the doors will be wide enough. The walls are reinforced so that if residents need grab rails or aids and adaptations in the future, that, that will all be possible. There will be staff on site 24 hours a day for seven days of the week and all of the residents have a warden call system in their apartment so that they're able to pull the cord and alert staff when they need to. And that's the same throughout the building in all of the communal spaces so that the residents are well supported. We will have a strengths-based model of support. This means that staff will support people with the things that they can do and enjoy doing and not just focus on what they can't do. The kitchen has been designed so that residents can uh, make meals and live independently for as long as possible. There are subtle but important design features which enable that. There's space to turn a wheelchair, there's an open plan design here so there are less barriers between the living room and the kitchen. The oven has been located at eye level so residents are not having to bend. The controls are easy to use, there's an induction hob which is safer. And in this kitchen here you can see a lovely window which means residents can be using the kitchen whilst having a view over the wider area of Camden beyond. The bathrooms are care ready, the shower is thermostatically controlled, the, the, the basin is reinforced so that a resident can lean on it if they need to. The mirror is extra long so that if you're in a wheelchair you can still uh, see into the mirror. 
and there is space here again to have aids and adaptations in the future if that is needed or if somebody is actually assisting a resident with bathing. We've chosen a very clear logical layout um, and the gallery access also help, helps with wayfinding and orientation. Everywhere is, is level, there are two 13 person lifts which are large enough for scooters. The corridors are wider, the gallery access is wide, there are passing spaces for wheelchairs, there's handrails everywhere and we've colour coded the floors to help further with orientation. But the main thing is that residents are not in a dark corridor, they're in an open gallery with views out so that they can always know where they are within the building and what time of day it is and what the weather's doing and have a great contact with the outdoors. On this constrained site we've done everything we can to maximise the use of uh, outdoor space. On the ground floor the, the community cafe has a garden each side to the east for the morning and the west for the afternoon and the residence lounge has a self-facing garden. All of the balconies have a winter garden which is a sliding folding glass screen which means that it can be completely open as a balcony or closed uh, as a winter garden when the weather's not so great. The residents on the top floor benefit from really generous roof terraces which have the most amazing view back over Camden. Charlie Ratchford Court has been designed to sensitively uh, fit into Crogson Road. There is a beautiful terrace of Victorian houses next door which we responded to with the rhythm of the building, the horizontal banding and the heights of the building. We've designed the building to look modern but be welcoming to the residents and visitors.